go to ubuntu.com go to download ubuntu server get ubuntu server use option 2 manual server installation option 2 and down here download ubuntu server 2104 Okay, now it's downloading, and this is the image, ISO image. Okay, Ubuntu 21.04, live server AMD64. Okay, Oracle VM VirtualBox. New Ubuntu server dash 21 dash 04 use any name i'm using this okay and use uh, okay uh the folder linux 64 bits next okay okay use ram according your requirements in my case i will use one gigabyte or 1024 megabytes next create a virtual hard disk now create bdi next select fixed size fixed size hard disk file may take longer to create on some systems but is often faster to use next and set the size of the virtual hard disk according your requirements okay in my case in my case, I will use 20 gigabytes. Great. Okay, look at this. Uh, Ubuntu Server 2104. Right click and go to settings. Okay, go to, uh, on general, you can change the name if you want another name. On system, you can change the memory. On processor, you can change the number of CPUs. Okay, you can use two or uh, I will use one. Okay, go to storage and look at the empty drive and select and uh, choose a virtu virtual optical disk and add a new, add new virtual optical disk and use this Ubuntu 2104 uh, live server open is this and uh, choose now the the ISO image is in the drive this is the virtual hard disk this is the installer go to network and you can use NAT don't don't worry a cable connected but in my case i prefer to use bridge jet adapter to place this virtual machine on my real network okay cable connected and choose obviously the uh, virtual interface you are connected in my case is gigabit interface okay and uh, right click a start normal start Okay, uh, select the language. In my case, I will use English. So press enter. And now the keyboard configuration, use your preferred keyboard, for example, uh, English. But I will choose a different, for example, on layout, uh, press a space. And you can uh, show all the options. And I will use, for example, uh, Spanish or Latin American. Enter. Okay. Uh, 
Don, enter. You can fix the uh, scale, uh, the virtual screen, for example, to view uh, a better view, 150%. Uh, okay. And uh, here you can set, uh, I get the, I, the DHCP using IPv4. Uh, my uh, IP address is 192.168.133, okay, uh, from my DHCP server on my network. But you can set the IPv6 static address here. So, okay, uh, enter here, and you can select edit IPv4, enter, and you can uh, choose uh, a space. You can choose a space, and you can set manual. So you can configure the the IP address, but uh, if this will be a server, you need a static IP address for this server. The DHCP address may vary, so it's better to configure the static IP address. For example, in my case, the subnet is one ninety two is one ninety two one sixty eight one zero prefix uh, 24 okay this is a subnet a network address is not host address is subnet address or network address okay and the address 192.168.1 and for example I have the range uh, from 1 to 254 with uh, this prefix of 24 and I will choose a uh, 225, 225, the gateway to reach internet 11. You can choose, for example, uh, Google DNS servers 8888 and comma separated if you want to use another uh, 8844. Okay, and search domains. This is optional, it's not mandatory, uh, but anyway, I will use this. Teach emergent. E.com. Okay, and save, enter. And now the static is 182.168.255 prefix 24. And you can also configure IPv6. Go to edit IPv6, enter. Is uh, disabled a space and go to manual. Okay. And on manual, uh, set the uh, subnet. Okay. In my case, the subnet is uh, 2800, 200, uh, sorry, 00, column 200, column uh, F5C0, column 1570, column, and another column and prefix. 64. Okay, this is my subnet on IPv6. It's not a host, it's subnet. Okay, and set an address to 800-200-F5C0-1570, column, column, for example, 225. And choose a gateway. In my case, the gateway is a link local address of my gateway FE80 column column F64B column 2AFF column FEEB column A3B3. Okay. Okay, for IPv6, you can use 2001, 2001, and 4860 column. Again, 4860, column, column, 8888, comma separated, another, 2001, 4860, column, 4860, column, column, 8844. Okay, and the search domain is optional. Okay, uh, save, enter. Now you have the static uh, IPv4 and static IPv6. Uh, 
continue uh, done okay done no proxy in my case if you have a proxy specify done mirror address very good done okay and now uh, you can uh, customize your uh, your partitions for the virtual hard disk so you can choose custom storage layout press a space here okay custom and done and this is your virtual hard disk with 20 gigabytes press enter and uh, add partition enter and uh, select uh, a space for a swap okay and i will use uh, one gigabyte in my case one gigabyte or use uh, any uh, any size according to your requirements for a swap press space and you should uh, select swap enter and create so you have the new partition on swap one gigabyte you can see here the, the bios grab one megabyte the swap one gigabyte okay and go to virtual hard disk again enter add partition enter use the maximum so leave empty okay empty to use the maximum space ext4 and the root is the mode point root this is slash then create okay so you have the root and swap the grab swap and root done continue yes continue and enter your name full name server's name okay username password okay done okay you can install open ssh server to access uh, remotely from uh, SSH client space, okay, install. Import SSH identity now. You can use your uh, username created previously, okay, and done. Okay. Um, these are server environments yeah, you can select okay use uh, install any that you want in my case i will install later when necessary okay done Okay, and now you can see the message. The message, uh, reboot now, enter. Okay, please remove, um, press enter to remove the installation medium press enter to remove the installation medium enter okay very good and uh, okay press uh, wait a moment okay very nice uh, press enter login username password very nice uh, verify IP address you have IPv4 address IPv6 address 
my interface is emp0s3 ping to internet is using by default ipv6 and if you want to test with ipv4 use ping option 4 to internet now is using ipv4 control c to stop this on any client on your network you can test the ssh access enter the ipv4 or ipv6 address in my case is 225 ssh port 22 open yes and uh, username password okay and very good that's it thank you very much